Now, where local sports always come first, this is Action for Sports. Valley boys basketball team still alive in the playoffs. Out of the nine, only two face each other tonight. That means when McAllen Rowe and Brownsville Porter finish their game at Wessico East tonight, the winner could be the final local squad standing. Coach Jose Yebra hoped that it was his Warriors that would be standing at the end of the night, and they took off on fire. Here come the Warriors. Alan Martinez drives the baseline, gets that one to go, and then here comes Chris Gatling after some sweet passing. The floating J, that one goes, and Rowe has a a five point lead earlier, but then watch this sequence. It's Jonathan Martinez with the block. They finally get it to Jonah Cavanaugh. Jonah Cavanaugh takes it all the way down, coast to coast, and Porter is on a hot streak, and the crowd loves it. Huge crowd at West Coast tonight. They got to see Jonathan Martinez here with the rebound and the putback, and it is Brownsville Porter defeating McAllen Rowe tonight. 67 51 is your final. In the other side of the bracket in 5A Region 4, no. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the scores, people. There we go. In the other side of the bracket, it is Laredo United defeating Edinburgh North. So that sets up the 5A tournament at UTPA Fieldhouse on Friday. Six o'clock, it will be Cibolo Steel taking on Laredo United. Eight o'clock, it will be Brownsville Porter taking on San Antonio Brandeis. The winner of those two games will play on Saturday for a chance to go to the state tournament. Now on to 1A. Oh, Roma. I'm sorry. Roma falling to Port Lavaca Calhoun, Hidalgo falling to Corpus Christi West Oso. Now we're 